All right, hello, grade 8, and welcome to 10.3, Angles in a Triangle, found on page 344 of your textbooks. Uh, it's not a long one, um, so we should blow through this pretty quickly. So take notes down, take your examples down, and you're good to go. Um, goal for today is to determine the sum of the angles in a triangle. All right, so let's take a look at question first. Question in the textbook. Maria's family is building a solar house. The back of the house will get the most sunlight. Now, Maria read that the best roof angle for collecting solar energy is 50 degrees. The front of the roof will have a smaller angle. Right here. Um, to finish constructing the roof, the builder needs to know the measure of the top angle. Maria says that she can calculate this so no one has to climb up and measure it. What a thoughtful girl Maria is. Anyway. Let's take a look. Let's take. Let's follow her adventure, shall we? All right. Right now, from what we're given here, you can't find out anything because you're going to need a couple. You need two angles here. All right. And that will be given you later on. But just to understand the concept of the angles in a triangle, we take this example from the textbook. Now let's take a look at this. If we were to take the top angle, the other angle, so essentially all the angles. Flip it over here, pull this one to the edge here. What do we have here? I'm going to tell you what we have here. Right here, what kind of angle is that? That's right, it's a straight angle. So what does that measure? 180 degrees. So what a clever way of showing that each angle in the interior of a triangle, remember that. The interior of a triangle. Write that somewhere. Interior. Right. Do that. Write it. Write it down. So all the angles in the interior of a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. So all this together, that angle, that angle, and that angle is 180 degrees. So now that we know that, let's try to solve this problem. Now we're going to be given another angle so that we can know what the remaining angle is. So, the answer, if the peak at the front of the house measures 35 degrees, we're already given 50. So we have to say we have 180 is the total minus 50 plus 35, which will give you 180. 35, 85, okay, 180 minus 85 will give you 95. So, this angle over here is 95 degrees, okay? Pretty simple stuff, very easy stuff. We're given everything here, and remember, these angles 95, 50, and 35 will add up to 180 degrees, okay? Sounds good? Sounds good. Let's try one more. Let's try another one. Another one with a little twist. So, what are the measures of angle A and B? So, angle A equals, well, again, straight angle. This is a straight angle. So, you're given this. 130. Here's a supplemental angle. Okay, so what do we have? 130 minus, take it, 90. So angle A equals 50. Okay, so now we have two angles, 50 and 75. Okay, that's one. All right, angle B equals 180 minus 50 plus 5. All right, that was 180 minus what was 50 and 75, 125. So 180 minus 125, anybody? What do you got? That's right. 
55. Okay, so angle B is 55. All right, and if we were to measure all these angles, if we were to say 180, say 75 plus 50 plus 55, we will have all together 150 and 75 will come out to 180. And that's how you check it. All right, everybody's good to go. All right, copy these examples down. Go back and review if you need to. Copy all the all the um, examples and definitions. And you're good to go. All right. So that's all for now. Relatively short one today. So we're all good. All right. See you in class. Thanks.